to work and I ain't gonna worry no I ain't gonna rush and I ain't gonna hurry well I ain't gonna work one day and I ain't gonna worry there's a heat exchanger you can see there's about 35 feet of 5 8 copper tube spiral wound wrapped in some stainless sheet metal that's surrounded by some fire blanket and it's just pushed inside of a aluminum pipe the tubes are pulled apart like a coil spring a little bit so the flames can get all the way around the tubes the aluminum enclosure is probably two and a half feet maybe just under three feet long you can see the same all the way here i think it was 34 feet of 5 8 copper tube this is the roll edge bathtub little cast iron tub it's sitting up on some bricks and it's encased in bricks around the bottom with probably six or eight inches of air gap underneath and then sandstone rocks just to help keep the, uh, the fire in it run off a propane tiger torch the simple multi-purpose unit and you can see a little dark there's the fire hole and we'll get her going in a little bit this is a man this man has a problem this man's got 34 feet Copper tubing and great big loops. So this man, this one here, he pulls that copper tube until it's long and straight. He puts some tape on the end of that copper tube. And then this man, he finds a great big cliff. He stands on that cliff proudly holding his 34 feet of copper tube with the tape on the end. He puts a funnel on the top of that tube and he puts salt in there, regular table salt. And he shakes this tube up and down, he puts more in and he keeps doing it until it's full right to the top. And then he tapes it up. Then he carries this tube after he's shaken it and made sure the salt is compacted. He gets a great big piece of pipe. And he clamps that tube onto that pipe with a C clamp. And he puts a few pieces of wood around it to hold it in place. And he puts a big pipe wrench on it. that so the copper pipe turns into a nice tight spiral with no kinks in it and he pulls it apart so that it looks like a great big coil spring and then the fire that goes through here eats up all the water and out comes the hot water and you wrap this some stainless so the flames are trapped inside and you can put a little bit of insulation fire blanket welding blanket something like that that can take the heat and then you can slide that inside of another pipe put a handle on it maybe some legs everybody likes legs you put a tiger torch in here big flames come out Brrr. They could come out under your bathtub. 
five bricks. And then this man, this man here, you can walk over here. Before you know it, story of the heat exchanger. The lid just sort of pops off to the side and rests on the wooden bench which gives you a table. This is just an old uh, lawn chair cushion which helps you from burning your bum on the bottom. And in about a half hour after dinner we will get this thing up and running. That's about how fast you can put in ice cold water to get bathtub temperatures coming out. So you can definitely have a nice hot shower with this unit. In the bathtub. Had another problem with that coily piece of pipe that he made full of salt. The salt wouldn't come out. And I know you're asking yourself, self, how did that man get that salt out of there? What that man did is he connected one end of that pipe to a garden hose. He was very frustrated by this time. He turned on that garden hose and it took a whole day before the first drops of water came out. Within about four hours, water had taken all the salt out of that pipe. Then that man very happy. And if you decide not to use the heat exchanger, the Tiger Torch works fine just by itself. It just takes a little longer, it's not as efficient, and of course you can't use it for showering. And that's about how big a flame you need from the torch to keep the bathtub hot indefinitely, you know, to bathing temperatures. You don't have to listen to the howling of the torch once it's warm. Just a little flame underneath. No smoke or soot. It's very peaceful. I'm gonna move on up and with no old shack. That fire I'm gonna beg me some bread. Take me a bottle of the cheapest red. 